Problem 3.3.7 in Broberman's book is not an old actuarial exam problem, and it's probably not a pr type of problem that you'd see on an actuary exam, but it was so practical, uh, so interesting in that way, uh, that I decided I wanted to do a video on it anyway. It's a pretty cool problem. It's got a long description here and a long problem statement, but I want to convince you that even when you encounter problems like this, if you just break them down piece by piece, you too can solve such a problem. The description says, find the new selling price of a product that's going to result in a certain profit, related to an old profit actually, that's going to be based on a new production method, an increased production financed by a loan with a sinking fund based repayment scheme. So long description, here we go, long problem statement. Break it down piece by piece. A business currently produces 9,000 units of some product each month. Everything here is going to be thought of in terms of monthly. It's going to sell uh, for a price of 85 per unit. Uh, and it sells these things by the end of the month. Or maybe you think of it as actually selling them at the end of the month. Maybe that's when its billing cycle uh, occurs. The company considers an alternative process that's going to cost some money. It's going to have a startup cost of $1.5 million and continuing monthly costs that are on top of previous monthly costs of 15816 incurred at the end of each month. Keep things simple. All right, what are these extra costs? Well, maybe this new production process costs more because uh, you have to hire new workers or you need bigger space. You need more space in your warehouse or something. Um, the alternative process is going to uh, result in monthly production that is higher than before, 12,000 units. Now you'd have to be able to sh uh, be sure that you can sell all 12,000 units. Probably the only that way that's going to occur, at least based on current market conditions, is if you reduce your price. And actually that's going to happen. The company can borrow the 1.5 million uh, on an interest-only loan where interest is paid at a monthly rate of 1.5% every month until the end when the principal is repayable after 40 months. You've got to pay back that $1.5 million. How is the company going to pay back that principal? It's going to accumulate the principal in a sinking fund that earns interest at 1% per month over the 40-month period. The company is going to reduce the selling price to X per unit. We're going to find X at the end here. It's still going to make a profit that is 30,000 more per month than it was before the new process was implemented. It's selling more at a lower price, evidently, but it's going to have a higher profit. All right, again, just break things down piece by piece. Maybe you want to say P sub old is the old profit. In any situation, profit <clears throat> is your revenue, how much money you take in minus your costs, how much money goes out. Based on this one product, and just to keep things simple, we assume we only have that one product. The old profit was 9,000 units. I'll go ahead and put my units in here. And these could be whatever you want them to be here. 9,000 units at 85 uh, amount of money per unit. Let me go ahead and use dollars, dollars per unit. So this would be in dollars. Minus your costs. Doesn't say what your old costs were. Let's just call the old costs C. Okay. It's going to turn out that C won't matter. How about the new profit? You are producing more, 12,000 units instead of 9,000. Uh, your price now is X, say dollars per unit, per unit, even though, again, we're not told this is in dollars. Giving you a product that, that is in dollars, by the way, the, the units cancel in both of these things. Minus the costs. Let me go ahead and put the costs in parentheses here. They're going to be, come from a few different sources. You've got the old costs, C. You've got this extra 15816 that's on top of those old costs, maybe from hiring new workers. And then you have two other sources of costs. One is going to become, come from paying interest on this loan. There is the loan interest that is occurring every month. And then you've got the sinking fund 
this other account that you are depositing money into it to build up to pay off the 1.5 million. You could call that the sink fund deposit. Forgot my N in here, fund, F-U-N-D. All right, and we know one other thing. We know that the new profit is 30,000 more than the old. So P new equals P old plus 30,000. All right, so we're gonna set these things equal to each other and solve for X. The C's will cancel. We'll just go ahead and cancel those right away. The C's are gonna cancel when we set P new equal to P old plus 30,000. We're subtracting C's on both sides. We can cancel them on both sides. So what we have left to do is to just find the loan interest and the sinking fund deposit each month, get a linear equation in X that we can solve pretty easily for X. This is actually a pretty easy problem in terms of the, the math, the equation you solve is just linear in X. What's hard is that it's long and it's hard to wrap your mind around. You gotta take things step by step to try to get at how to do this. All right, what's the loan interest? every month. It's a 1.5 million loan, dollars if you like. It's at, uh, the interest for that loan is 1.5%. So the loan interest is 1.5 million times 0 0.015. 1.5 million times 0 0.015, 22,500. How about the sinking fund deposit? We want the sinking fund to accumulate to 1.5 million by the end of 40 months. You can set up an equation of value and solve for the deposit that occurs every month. It will end up being 1.5 million divided by S40 with interest rate 0.01. Let's find S, take 1.01, .01, it to the 40th power, subtract 1, divide by 0 .01. That thing needs to be divided into 1.5 million, so take its reciprocal and multiply by 1.5 million. 30,683.40, and I think I will go ahead and round right away here. It's not going to be a real big deal to help us find x. So what do we have? What equation do we need to solve for x? P nu with the c canceled out is going to be 12,000 or tw yeah, 12,000 x minus 15,816 minus 22,500 minus 30,683.40. That's P new with the C subtracted off. What's P old with the C subtracted off plus 30,000? Um, did I, I guess I never wrote down what 9,000 times 85 was. 9,000 times 85 is 765,000. Again, that C got canceled. So P old is 765,000 minus C, but it was canceled, so I don't have to write it down, plus 30,000. 12,000 X will be this plus this, plus all of these. So 765,000 plus 30,000 plus 15,816 plus 22,500 plus the final thing to add is this 30,683.4. Divide that by 12,000 and we will be done. X, if you round, is 72.00. So we can reduce the price to 72 per unit from 85 per unit, and the fact that we're selling 12,000 more 
And based on these costs, will still mean that we make in profit 30000 more per month than we did before. Again, of course, you have to make sure you really can sell 12000 at this new price.